you know, the biggest uh, social event of the Reagan White House was, right, the, right. was the dinner, the formal dinner with Princess Di and Prince Charles. And when the uh, first guest list came from the social secretary to Nancy Reagan, the first name on the list was President and Mrs. Of Reagan. Course. The right. second name on the list was Vice President and Mrs. Bush. Right. And Nancy Reagan picked up her pen and crossed out the Bush's names. And Michael Deaver, who was then the deputy White House chief of staff and the person who kind of handled Nancy, called her and said, you can't cross out the Bush's name. And she said, just watch me. And at the end, when that dinner happened, the Bushes were not invited. In fact, she got subsequent drafts of the guest list, yes, didn't she? she did. And every time she'd get a draft, the Bushes' names would yeah. be on there. And every time she'd cross, cross out their out. names. And ultimately, they were not there. And they were not there. Yeah. And there's a recounting, again, I'll encourage people to read the telling of this in the book, of a phone call with Nancy <laughs> Reagan and Barbara Bush that is just as awful as any kind of two people can be to one another. And, and, and it's just everything about their relationship right there. And you know, this is decades later that Barbara Bush is telling me about this. And she gets so animated. It's like it happened the day before. Right. Uh, she's recounting the story many years later. Many and years she's later. as animated as she was probably at and that moment. She's, she, Nancy Reagan had given yet another interview in which she said dismissive things about the Bushes. This was as the Bushes were leaving the White House yep. in the wake of that uh, crushing 1992 defeat. Nancy Reagan calls them in Houston at the Rennes house. Uh, Barbara Bush ducks the call for a day, finally takes the call. And Nancy Reagan says, I want to explain what I said. And Barbara Bush said, I'm tired of you explaining things to me. Don't ever call me again. And then she said, oh, I hear another phone ringing and hung up on Nancy Reagan. <laughs>